welcome back my name is tori if you're new here and welcome to my nursery currently um i am doing a grocery haul today and this is in collab with my really good friend tamra over at southern wife everyday life i have a feeling i haven't seen hers yet but we shall see i have a feeling her grocery haul is going to be very very different from mine we were talking lately and we wanted to stock up she was like i'm gonna go to the grocery store and i said hey me too so we decided to collab and my grocery haul is all about really easy meals um as some of you know i went back to teaching both of my kids are in different daycares and we live pretty far away from school so it's just been really tricky to prep every single meal honestly saturday saturdays and sundays are just exhausting so it's hard to meal prep as well i'm going to get back into the swing of things but this week is all about easy meals for everyone including myself so i really hope you enjoy this style of video make sure you go ahead and check out tamra's channel and all of that good stuff i will link it down in the description box below she does similar content to me if you're new to her and i think you're really going to enjoy her so if you we're excited let's just get right into the haul okay i instacarted while i was leaving for school and it got here just in time i'm going to start over here where there are some easy meals and then i'm going to move over to the veggies there is meat and are you okay <laughs> there is meat and dairy in this just to warn you so let me get that going Okay, starting over here, I have some chicken salad, Colby Jack cheese, pretzels, grapes. Um, these will last wilder probably all week, and I can cut these up into little cubes and give them lunch and dinner this way. I think this is a great price. Normally, if you would have asked me like a year ago, I would have been all about the non plastic packaging and I would have been like you get more for your money if you buy these in bulk and that's true but we don't eat this every single week in my opinion so I mean having these grapes like this and having the cheese and the crackers and the pretzels I think it saves us in the long run just because I have toddlers if you had older kids you might want to go the route of buying big cheese and chicken like rotisserie and making it yourself and a bag of grapes but this works for us i have one of these pot roasts for my husband not really liking the price there but i think that he will really enjoy this i have some red potato salad uh delilah actually really likes this so <laughs> we got it for her over here is some meat coming up it is a one pan meal it is bourbon and black pepper steak tips. I really think my husband will enjoy this. Yeah, honey. I have two gallons of whole milk. I have some pita chips and pretzel crisps for hummus. I have some cubed frozen butternut squash and some hazelnut croissants for my husband. I have some vegan jerky for me at school. I have some chow shreds. I've been waiting to get my hands on this. I really enjoy it in quesadillas. Um, it's vegan. Chow has just a really great product, so I'm excited about that. I have my coffee creamer. And then in the morning, in the morning, I'm going to be trying out some pancake bites for the kids just to see if they like it. I have some sourdough bread as well as Kite Hill cream cheese. I do have some pumpkin spice blend for my coffee. I really like to sprinkle that in there just about any time of the year. I have some diced green chilies and serrano peppers. They were a substitute for poblano. I know they're not the same, but that's okay. Um, I have some cherry tomatoes here. And then these are for school. I really like the Dr. McDougal's um, vegan ramens. And then this is really good for mixing with other items. Uh, they have the chicken flavor. I've never tried this one, but you're gonna give it a shot. It was on sale. I do have the fig bars, the strawberry for the kids. I have some gold potatoes as well as two avocados. I have some chili beans and pumpkin puree for some recipes coming up related to fall. And then I have avocado mash. It's like, um, I guess what they have carried at Sprouts for a little bit but it has um, sea salt and black pepper in there. And then I have some organic sweet peppers as well as some Brussels sprouts, um, buy one, get one free. And then I have the salad kits for school. So I have avocado ranch, and then I have the Caesar. So I'm just taking the lettuce out of this and mixing it with some spinach, doing my own Caesar dressing. And then my husband really likes the Caesar chicken, so I use that dressing for that. 
And then I saw this, the teriyaki veggies and sauce. There's a ginger one as well. And from what I see, they're all vegan, but you have to double check your labels, all right? And then I have some spaghetti squash and some romaine lettuce. I have some ears of corn, I have four. And then I have some Persian cucumbers. So I'm gonna get all of this put away. These are all easy for me. Um, sprouts is not normally where I would shop, but I really wanted some um, specific items like the Dr. McDougal's and the chow and the vegan jerky. So that's where we went with this week. And they do have really, really tasty to-go's like I said. So I'm gonna put these away and I'll get into the meal plan. Hey friends, this is the weekly meal plan. I will go over it with you. Um, Normally, I would use Tamra's, and I will link her Etsy shop down below. She makes weekly meal plans and so many other fun things over on her Etsy. It's a digital download and super cool. But I was at school, and I had these left over from, I don't even know, two years ago, I think, in my desk. And what I did was print a bunch of these weekly meal plans out and then put one of the protectors um these like binder protectors over it and then i write with a write on wipe off marker and then i just redo it every week but um when i'm at home i plan with tamara's meal plan um sheets and like i said i will link that in the description box but monday actually let's go over the groceries first so quick lunches we picked that up you saw that i got a bunch of fruit we needed quinoa in our dry storage and flour. Um, I like to have flour and yeast on hand just in case I ever needed to, so I do stock up on that. I know how to make bread pretty easily, so it's always good to have that. I need some frozen veggies and some fresh greens. That's kind of an indulgence on my part. Um, I just really enjoy fresh spinach and kale for juices and salads and fun dinners. And then for the dinner portion, I am attempting to do all shelf cooking meals. So I have all of the ingredients for the things on this weekly meal plan. So normally we wouldn't have things exactly like this. We would have to get a few things at the store, but we are shopping the pantry for dinner. And then for lunch and breakfast, we're keeping things pretty quick. So on Monday, we're doing tater tot casserole. That's just tater tot, uh, ground beef, green beans and then like a roux of sorts you could also use like cream of mushroom or something like that on tuesday we're gonna do i'm gonna do a veggie sweet potato burger and my husband's gonna do a beef burger and we're gonna do sweet potato fries and homemade garlic aioli on wednesday we're gonna do buffalo mac and cheese i always do mine separate dairy free and vegan and then i do pulled chicken in my husband's and everybody else's and then on Thursday, we are gonna do DIY pizzas. My son has really been enjoying doing it on a flour tortilla, but with the flour and the yeast, uh, we are just going to be making some dough in the morning, letting it sit and then in the refrigerator and then pulling it out for dinner so we can have some fresh dough. Friday, we always love to do like taco nights or nachos or quesadillas or something like that. Taco night is pretty standard. I just use quinoa for my taco meat and then the rest of it uh, is vegan as well. And then my husband's is pretty normal. He will see that trend. We kind of do things separately, but it is not hard at all. If you are new here, I have multiple videos on how to make that easier on yourself if you yourself are dairy free. And then Saturday, we're gonna have some leftovers because Sunday we are going to do a meal prep. Um, like I said, this week we did really easy, quick things just to get back into the swing of it, but you know, it kind of hurts your pocket when you buy items like that. So on Sunday, I'm going to go through and meal prep from the pantry. I'm gonna do a big crock pot soup. I do have off Monday, so that will be super helpful to get the house clean and all that. And that is our meal plan. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want recipes for any of these dinners that look intriguing to you, just comment down below and I can give you the recipe. All right.
All right, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed today's easy meal haul. Like I said, I shopped at Sprouts and I really enjoy that store. If you get a chance to check it out, they have some really unique items. Don't forget that this video was in collaboration with my friend Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life, and I will link all of her items down below. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye. But I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh.